Happy National Park and Recreation Month. I'm Museum Curator Elizabeth Rozak. And I'm Brian Mills, Parks Maintenance Supervisor for the City of Service. And today we're out here at Timothy Lane Park to tell you a little bit about the history, its unique development, and what this park offers our community today. So a lot of our parks are named after people, but this one's actually named after the street to the north of it that divides it from Sulger subdivision. But Timothy Lane itself is named for Timothy Sulger, whose parents, Paul and Ethel, developed the Sulger subdivision in 1971 and named all the streets after their children. And the Sulger family um, developed a lot of the land here and also were the ones who founded Wachuca City. But this land they bought from uh, Irwin Fry. And as such, when the city was incorporated and Fry Township wasn't, it stayed a county enclave until the city annexed it in 2015 and began developing the area. Now the park itself had just a backstop and a swing set for a long time until the early 2000s when they added a playground and a ramada. But then it was Brian and our wonderful parks maintenance crew here that did a lot of work to uh, really develop this east side of the park. Yes, Elizabeth, we've uh, spent some extra time here at, at Timothy. Of course, with the uh, previous amenities that you mentioned earlier in the 2000s, about two years ago, the city invested some time and uh, money into this part of the park, which is on the west side. As you see, we have a bike path, solar lights, grass, uh, beautiful trees, and a swing. But the city and my, my guys were lucky that we got the opportunity to actually build this park from scratch. It took some time and effort, but the guys did a really good job on what you see here. So Brian, how does Timothy Lane Park and the wash here contribute to the community? Well, first of all, the detention basin uh, was built uh, especially to slow the water down for the Sogo subdivision, uh, which helps the community tremendously. Secondly, the amenities that we put here uh, is very useful for this neighborhood. Uh, we have bikers that come all the way from golf links and drive through the parks to get to the other side of of uh, Sierra Vista. We have the apartment complex people. Uh, they love this. They've been more than happy that we developed this. Pets come out here and they have an opportunity to run around in the grass. It has just turned out to be a really nice place for the people in this area. And on behalf of the parks maintenance crew and myself, please enjoy Timothy Park. And make sure to come join us this Saturday from 10 to 2 for some fun at our next Wreck and Roll. Rock and Roll offers recreational activities for children and families of all ages. And for more information, you can check out the City of Sierra Vista's Facebook event section. What? <laughs> <laughs> that don't work? Oh, I love that. So it serves the community not only recreationally, but in a very... Um... Yes, ma'am, it does. It does. <laughs> You know, you looked a lot taller on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as tall as you now. I was kidding. I was kidding. <laughs> Happy National Park and Recreation Month. <laughs> Enough about Timothy. Let's talk about your softball career. <laughs> okay. You go really play good. softball. <laughs> <laughs> Got this. Okay. okay. <laughs> I want y'all to come out and enjoy the park at any time, uh, except for closing. <laughs> <laughs> except for <we're> close. <laughs> Remember Soul Decree. <laughs> Let's see what. <laughs> Loosen yourself up. I'll sing it. I'll sing it. <laughs> yes. Where's your guitar? This is this is my trial for the City of Sierra Vista Talent Show. <laughs> Vista Idol. I'm taking requests for songs. 